Who really want war? Who really want to spar with a beast? Raise hell, so I better call in a priest. Pardon my speech, but I'm hotter than the devil when I'm high up on the level that a god couldn't reach. Oh, damn. Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome to the first episode of Learn. What this series is, is going to be a series where I teach through my losses, which is why you see the emphasis on the L and learn. I want to really go through these games in which I lost and give you guys um, really my opinion on where I went wrong. Learn from my mistakes. We learn from our mistakes all the time. No, no one's perfect. So let's get into it. As you guys can see. This is my opponent taking knees to finish this game, and I ended up losing this game 31-24. So uh, let's see how we exactly got to this, this spot, how we got to 31-24. Let's go back to the first quarter. This is the first drive, you know, basic drive. Um, when you're opening up games, you're really just trying to get a feel for your opponent. He ended up going down the field here. I forced him to a third and six on this first drive. Um, about halfway through the fourth quarter, a little bit more than halfway through the through the first quarter, sorry, and we're able to stop them. So we hold them to three. Not bad. That's how you would love to open up a game. I mean, uh, a pick or pick six, fumble to the crib, something like that was obviously ideal. But holding your opponent to three on their first drive is not bad. So let's get into our first drive now. When when my initial thoughts, if I hold someone to three, you know, um, I get a little bit of pressure off my offense because I know all I got to do to keep it keep it square is I just got to go down there and get three so let's you know let's move the ball a little bit and we'll be all right first and in here rolling right with luck throw it down the middle of the field Tyreek catch all the way inside the 30 and I end up fumbling now fumbles they happen from time to time um, you're gonna have to fight through these though no big deal one fumble that's not gonna that's not gonna impact the game fully you still got time to fight still the first quarter we end up sacking the quarterback here all right third and 22 I'm sitting back in defense, user in Shazier, and I get bombed over the top. He has a cover three beater. We should know that now as he celebrates into the end zone. If you look here, this play beats cover three because the deep zone with my free safety, he bites down when uh, they run this play with the skinny post. It's kind of a little glitchy play, but I do know that it's in the game after seeing this, so I should be aware of that, and anytime he comes out in that type of form, I should be you know, alarmed and, and be ready for a cover three beater. Either way, it's 10-0 now, I'm down. He just converted a third and 22 down the middle of the field. So my next drive here, we're in the second quarter now, and um, I'm down 10. I need to get some sort of points. I get the ball at half. As long as I get some type of points, I'm, I'm comfortable here. Throw down, you know, the middle of the field again, just a strike all the way down first and goal here. Andrew Luck handing it off. No, we're going to do RPO, and it's going to be Nelson Aguilar touchdown. Perfect. 159 left in the half. Let's go. Kick off. Get the ball back before half. In my mind, I want to go into this half tied or maybe even up if he makes a mistake. So let's go do that. Here's his kick return. You can see him return this thing, and he's going to bounce this left side. And no, people may, have, may not have caught this. So let's go back and look at this kick return. As the user, I need to click on here. Why I didn't click on is beyond me. And that just allows the computer to get juked out by Tariq Cohen. I have to click on to make that tackle there. Instead of tackling to him 20 yards prior, I give him the ball out at midfield, basically. So bad tackling, bad usering on my part in that spot. First and 10 for him now. Mahomes delivers a strike down the middle. It's going to be Thomas all the way inside the 30 to the 26. First and 10 for him. And I'm going to get pressure there and sack fumble. I get the ball back. Fumble. We're on the 40 now. It's our ball. Now we need to go down and try to tie this game up. It's 10 to 7. I'm moving left with luck. And you're going to see that's a common thing. Me moving, 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 moving without, you know, even have to move. I, I Like, I have a good pocket and I don't even have to move. And you're going to see that coming to play in a little bit. So be, be mindful of how I'm moving in the pocket. Moving outside of the pocket with luck. First and 10, I hit Marcus Allen, left side. Gonna pick up a first down, pretty easy. Under a minute now, left in the half. It's third and 10. Again, moving left with Andrew Luck. Scanning the left side of the field. I see it late and it's incomplete. Now let's go back to this play on third and 10. I have a perfectly clean pocket. There is no reason to, to move left with Andrew Luck here. But my eyes down the field are, I wanna throw this corner out. I wanna throw this corner out. So I like, I start moving left. Instead of sitting in the pocket, I would have seen R1 wide open, the running back, but my eyes were on the left side of the field, 
just tunnel vision. It happens way too often. One of my downsides on offense, tunnel vision, knowing where I want to go with the ball prior to the snap, and, you know, tunneling out the rest of the field. R1 was wide open. We would have caught that, picked up the first down, and possibly would have scored a touchdown on this possession. Either way, we don't score. So now it's 10-10. I kick off here. Cohen on the return. Much better kick return coverage here. Hit stick, fumble, ball is out, our ball. And now it's first and 10, 18 seconds left in the half. And now we have a, we're in a spot, we take the lead here. After all that's gone wrong, we can possibly take the lead. I throw it away on first down, second and 10. I'm in bunch quads here. I have a corner route on the right side. I'm staring down this corner route. He looks open, but he is not. And I still deliver it. And Ramsey picks me off, goes damn near 100 yards. You know the rest of the story. I, instead of being up a minimum of three points, I am down seven. So at the very least, that's a 10-point swing to end the half. It's just awful. It's just awful. If I would have scored a touchdown, it's a 14-point swing, basically. It, anyways, I'm down seven now. Instead of being up, second half has begun. I move the ball down the field. Moving left here. It's, it's, a, it's a strike to Tyreek Hill. I'm in the red zone now. About halfway through the third, I run a RPO and I try to run with my quarterback. Another dumb, dumb mistake here. It's pretty costly now. It's an RPO, fake the handoff. It looked open, but it's second and four. There's no reason to risk running with your quarterback. Just idiotic at that point. And I end up fumbling with Andrew Luck, which is what quarterbacks are going to do in this game. They're going to fumble the ball if you run with them. That's just what happens. That's how Madden plays. That's how it's always played. It's just a bad mistake. I know that. I know better. Third and 15. Now, this third and 15 reminds you of anything we've seen earlier. Yeah, let's look back. First quarter, third and 22, where he threw it down the middle of the field. Now, fa fast forward to the current play, and you're going to see third and 15, same formation, and guess what he does again? Although I did man up that spot, he's still going to get beat by Marvin Harrison because Marvin Harrison is the, probably the second best receiver in the game to Torrey Holt. So I give up another third and forever touchdown, and now I'm down 14 points. And now the pressure's on because we're closing the third quarter, and I have to get a touchdown. I have to cut this lead in half or else this game is over. Andrew Luck strikes on my wheel route. Zeke Elliott all the way inside the 10. Third and goal now. I need a touchdown. I run with Luck, dive for the end zone, and it's going to be fourth down. Fourth and goal, under three minutes left in the game. Hand it off to Ingram, and I'm able to bounce it, score the touchdown. And now we, we cut the lead in half. It's not the worst spot I've ever been in. Down seven. I'm going to be down seven here because I do make the extra point with 2.42 left. So I have three timeouts. I know I just got to get off the field, play good defense here. We'll get the ball back. We've moved the ball okay. Just some awful mistakes in the red zone. A fumble and a pick six. Just terrible. First play from scrimmage, Gurley. You know the rest. 72-yard touchdown right up the gut. But let's look back at why this really happened. And it's completely on me. Look where I'm standing pre-snap. I know you cannot be that close to the lineman or you're going to get blocked. I have to back up at least three steps, two to three steps, and I'm able to shoot the gap. Instead, I stand right over the left tackle, and he just grabs me, holds me, and it's an easy run. So it's all bad from the setup. It's the pre-snap where I'm standing is just awful. It was a, a recipe for disaster, and he ended up scoring a touchdown. Anyways, back down 14. We come right back down the field, and we're able to get into the red zone once again. Hilton out of bounds at the 11. First and 10 here. Luck delivers a strike to Hill. Touchdown. All right, back to a seven-point game. First and 10 from here. We stopped and run much better than we did last time with Gurley. Hands off, second and eight. He's going to try to pass here. I still got two timeouts remaining. 130 left in the game. Rolls, gets sacked. I burn my second timeout immediately, forcing a third and 14. 130 left in the game. He checks down to his running back. We're able to tack, tackle Gurley at the 30, and now it's fourth and nine. Instead of punting, he decides to go for it. Fourth and nine from his own 30. Pretty, pretty risky play here. Nothing open. He rolls left, tries to throw across. And I drop an interception, and, and that's actually a good thing for me. Either way, we get the ball back. Second and five here, luck. Now, if I would have sat in the pocket again, instead of rolling right, I would have seen my running back. Instead, I roll right, throw it away. Would have been wide open for a first down and more. Instead, it's third and five now. 
and I get shedded on third and five. So instead of getting that fresh set of downs, I get shedded on the very next play. And now it's fourth and 13, 23 seconds left. Clock is moving. I have no timeouts. I really have to just go out there and try to force something because nothing was open. Interception, the game is over. And that's how we got to 31-24 and him kneeling this game out. Um, a lot of mistakes in this game. So many to name. So many cost of mistakes. The pick six. The forced rollouts. The unprepared for the third and longs. Just a lot of mistakes on my end. And looking back at this game, I, I hope to patch those up in the future. And just really play a better Madden game. Put it together and, you know, again the key to the, these episodes the, the goal of these episodes is to learn hope you guys learned a thing on episode one i'll see you guys on the next episode drop in next weekend next sunday it'll drop episode two of learn hope you guys enjoy it. leave a comment in the section below if you guys enjoy this series if you want to see more of this maybe you want it more than once a week let me know i'm, I'm always open to feedback subscribe to the channel for more content and i'll see you guys on the next videos peace